Hey, it's Ari here. How are you doing? Hopefully you're doing well. In today's video, I want to show you how you can make money online by searching Google. Yes, that's right. Uh, this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make money online by searching Google. And uh, the exact job that I'm going to be talking about here is known as a search engine evaluator. Uh, so before I really get into this video, I just want to say if this is the first video you're seeing on this channel, on this on this channel, I pr pretty much talk all about different ways of making money online, how to grow a business online, how to do affiliate marketing. So if that's the kind of thing that interests you and you want to learn more ways of making money online, definitely be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get notified of all the new videos I post on this channel. But without further ado, let's talk about search engine evaluator jobs. Now, what exactly is a search engine evaluator? Well, a search engine evaluator is basically where you are given uh, search terms to uh, to look up you know different uh, keywords a search term is pretty much you know something that someone types into google you know like search engine evaluator jobs and your job is pretty much to look through the different uh, results that you get and you have to determine whether or not they are relevant to that actual search term that is being searched up so um google actually needs people to you know uh, review certain uh, search terms and they need to know whether or not they are, you know, relevant to what people are actually looking up. It's very, very important that when someone looks for something specific, they get a specific result that they are uh, actually looking for. So for instance, if I choose to look up, uh, let's say, actually, let me do this in a new tab. If I choose to look up something like, um, like, let's say, you know, how to, actually, no, let's say, if let's say I search up Amazon, just the word Amazon. At the very top, it would be Amazon.com. Now, this would be uh, very good. This, you know, when someone types in Amazon on Google, chances are they are looking for the actual Amazon.com website. They want to visit the website. They want to, you know, likely buy something. Um, very few people that type in Amazon would be interested in, like, you know, uh, the Amazon River or anything like that. So this is generally a very good uh, search term. Um, if I scroll down a bit, you know, I'll see more... Uh, results about Amazon, you know, their YouTube channel, their Twitter, their Facebook, Amazon, the company, Wikipedia. Um, so these would be, you know, still fairly relevant, but the most relevant would be at the very top is Amazon.com, the website. Uh, if I were to search up something like, you know, how to play the guitar, and the results I would get, of course, would be, you know, we got an ad here, easiest way to play guitar. Um, how to play the guitar for beginners, quick learning system. So these are all relevant uh, results that I'm getting from searching up how to play the guitar. And they even have some videos here that pop up as well. Um, but, you know, let's say that, for instance, I was to look up something like, you know, how to, uh, you know, tie a shoe or something like that. And instead, I might get an a article about, you know, how to, you know, sew things together. Well, that isn't particularly relevant. So if you see something like that, you would have to be the one to let Google know that, you know, that isn't very relevant and therefore they would need to uh, change that. So if I go over here to search engine evaluator jobs, which is what I had uh, looked up, uh, the question is, how much can you make as a search engine evaluator? So before I really even get into the different sites that you can, uh, of course, sign up for, um, you could earn an, an, on, you know, on average, anywhere from 12 to $15 per hour in most cases. Now it depends oftentimes on where it is you live. Um, so based on your location, you may end up getting, you know, $12 per hour, or you may end up getting 15. It really depends on your on on your exact location. But that is pretty much on on average, you know, what a search engine evaluator would make online. But anyways, with all that out of the way, let's get into the three sites that I want to go over. So the first one is called appin.com. Uh, I could be wrong, but I believe Appen is actually a company owned by Microsoft. I could be wrong. I'm, I'm not entirely sure there, but uh, I think they are somewhat affiliated with Microsoft in some way. Um, but if I go to Appen.com and I scroll down to the very bottom, at the very bottom in the top left, there's a link that says careers. So you would just want to click on that and this will take you to the careers page. Um, and on the very left, it shows flexible part-time home-based work. That requires a computer and or mobile device. So you would just want to click apply here. And right here, you have the different job titles that they are looking for. So we got search media evaluation. So this is where you are doing, um, 
you know, you are given keywords. Uh, this is pretty much the same as um, search engine evaluator, but here they call it search media evaluation. It's pretty much the same thing. Uh, you're pretty much rating uh, results based on the keyword that someone is looking up. So that's pretty much what uh, that job is all about. And they also have social media evaluation as well, which is, you know, you're, it's kind of like the same thing, except it's more on social media. Uh, they got translation and transcription, but of course you would want to, uh, you would be interested in this job right here, which is search media evaluation. If you want to work for them, you would just come down to this page, you select the country you live in. I believe they hire from pretty much everywhere. You know, you just select your country. In my case, I would click on United States because that's currently where I'm at. And then you pretty much just go through the steps that it lays out for you. Uh, before you get hired for Appen, uh, they will have you take some sort of test. They'll give you some sort of training. You know, they'll um, talk about, you know, exactly how the job works, uh, what you will need to do, uh, you know, how exactly to go about rating different uh, results that you get. But that's pretty much how it works. And then it would give you a test that you, you would have to, you know, test it out for yourself. It'll give you, I think, about like 50 questions or so. And you would just want to, you know, um, you know, like it would give you a, a, um, a website and a search term and you would have to rate it based on, you know, I think like it's a one to 10 rating where you would rate it based on how relevant it is from the actual search result to the, um, the keyword. But that's pretty much how uh, that works there. So again, you could just go through the uh, steps here that it lays out. Um, I'm not going to go over, you know, every single step in here, but you know, it's pretty self-explanatory. You just fill out the questions, you take the test, and then if you uh, pass the test, then you'd get hired for Appen. Now the next one is called lionbridge.com. This is another site that has uh, search, um, search engine evaluator uh, jobs. What you would want to do is go to lionbridge.com and you just click on this tab here that says join our team. That'll bring you to this page right here, jobs at lionbridge. And at the very left, I think it's this one right here, testers, raters, and curators. You click on learn more, and then it'll open up a separate tab where it'll give you a list of different uh, job opportunities that are available. So to find one, you just uh, go to the you know this little map here. You select your country that you're in. Uh, in my case, I would click on you know USA, and then from here you would find the different jobs that they have available. So I think that's this one is more at the bottom. It is US mobile and desktop internet search reviewers. That's pretty much what they call it here. You just click on this and it's pretty much the same exact concept. You are given keywords and search results and you have to determine you know, how relevant the actual search result is from the keyword that is being typed into Google. So you could, uh, go, you could kind of read more about this here, program description. Uh, they talk about, you know, what does this job involve, you know, a mobile and desktop internet search review. Your ultimate goal is to contribute towards evaluating websites and products over time and making desktop and mobile internet search more exciting. Uh, so that's pretty much your goal as a search engine evaluator. And, um, you know, it talks about who is suitable for this job. Again, I'm not going to bore you with reading the entire thing here. You could uh, go through this yourself. And then it talks about, you know, the main requirements. So you... Um, I believe for these jobs, you would need to have a PC. I don't think you could apply for these jobs with a Mac. I think you do need like a Windows PC. But as long as you have that, and um, it says on here if you want to also work from uh, your phone, you would need an Android uh, smartphone. Uh, so unfortunately, it doesn't seem like they are allowing people with iPhones to get in. But uh, if you have a desktop or laptop PC, then uh, this is definitely a job that you could apply for on uh, but anyways, that is LionBridge for you. So very similar to Appen, you know, you could uh, choose to apply. You just fill out the process and they'll have some sort of, uh, they'll likely have some sort of test that you would take in order to find out if you are eligible. But anyways, again, it pretty much works the same as Appen. And the third one I want to mention is called Sykes.com. So with Sykes, you just go to their site and you click on this tab that says uh, work with us. You go to work at home and it'll give you a list of jobs available. Now with Sykes.com, they have uh, quite a few jobs available. If you just try, you know, scrolling through the results, you know, there's a lot of them here, you know, as you can see. But I find it easiest if you go here and you just type in um, search engine evaluator. You type that in, you click on search, and then this should bring up the actual results here. So it shows on here they call it search quality evaluator. 
and it shows they got them, uh, you know, based in different uh, locations. So it looks like they've got one uh, where I'm at in Wisconsin. Uh, but you just look through and you see if your location is in here. You know, so they got all the different states. Um, you know, pretty much all of them you could uh, go through there. It looks like this one is only hiring in uh, the U.S. So if you're outside of the U.S., then this one may not be an option for you. But anyways, those are the three sites that I want to go over in this video. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, be sure to give this video a like because it really does help. And definitely feel free to leave a comment down below if you have any questions about any of these uh, sites or, any, you know, at all. Uh, feel free to ask a question in the comments down below. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to learn how you could uh, have something that is long term, you want to learn how to create passive income online where you aren't necessarily trading time for money and you want to be your own boss, the first link in the description will get you access to my free training that I put together that is a free four day training. And that pretty much goes over, over the four main components you must have in place to really build a long term stable business online. So that pretty much shows you how to build a business through affiliate marketing. Uh, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and take care.